Hello everyone, I am Arpit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can save your Twitter post in your Grist database automatically. <coughs> so what are we going to do here? First, we are going to make a tweet on Twitter. After that, that Twitter tweet, details of that Twitter tweet will be sent to your Grist database and will be saved automatically. Now, to do that, we are going to use an integration and automation service software, Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect will help us connect our Twitter and Grist account together. Now, you will ask me how we are going to do that. Now, to learn that, you have to come with me to the screen. And now, <coughs> we are on our screen. So, what do we have to do? We have to go to the address bar and type in pabbly.com slash connect and enter and as soon as we do that you can see we will be redirected to this beautiful website here you have two options either you can sign in or you can sign up now what you are going to do if you do not already have an account you are going to go for sign up signing up is absolutely free and it will give you 100 free tasks from our side every month so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you okay now i am going to go for sign in because i already have an account here and then I will click on Pabli Connect Access Now. Okay. <clears throat> now you can see we have this dashboard here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new workflow by going on Create Workflow. And here what I'm doing, I'm connecting my Twitter to Christ. So what I will do is whenever I, uh, you know, I'll make a new tweet, it will automatically be submitted to Grist. So I'll just go for Create. And now you have two windows here. First one is trigger, second one is action. So trigger window is the window when an event is happening at the start of the process and action is a window where the final um, event happens at the, uh, at the end of the process or the goal which we want to achieve. So trigger is when this happens, action is do this. So what is happening here? We are making a tweet. And what will be the action? The action will be add that tweet to Grist database. So I'll just go for Twitter, trigger event is new tweet and I'll connect my Twitter account here. I'll just delete this one and I'll connect a new one for you. It can take some time. So while it is taking, okay, so it's done. <laughs> okay, add new connection, connect with Twitter. And this is my Twitter account. You have to give, uh, give the, you know, uh, authorization here. So do not worry about this. Pabli Connect does not take any chances with your data. Your data is absolutely safe here. Now, what I can do, do is either I can make a new tweet here in my account or I can just, uh, you know, click on save and send test request and it will automatically take any tweet from my Twitter account. And we just want the response here for our automation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on save and send test request. And you can see it has taken a random tweet from my Twitter account. And this is the tweet quote of the day for this date. And this is the uh, link which uh, they have given us or I should say the Twitter response has given us. This is the this is the date. And these are the informations. Okay. These are all the informations. You can see. Now let me tell you something. Look at this. Copy this. And paste it here. This is the uh, quote of the day for 2-2-2022. So today is 5th February. And it has taken the data from 2nd February. So this is how any random data can be taken to your Twitter account. You do not have to fill anything or you do not have to, you know, make a new uh, Twitter post just to capture the response. Okay, because we are doing automation. So this is the response here. <clears throat> now what we are going to do, we are going to add our Grist account here. Let me first show you my Grist uh, workspace. So here is my workspace. This one is the tweet which I am uh, 
you know, doing and the time at which I did that tweet. So I am uh, taking these two informations here. So I'll go here. I'll uh, go for create record. <coughs> and after go going for create record, I'll just go and connect my Grist account. So I'll just delete this one so that I can tell you how you can uh, connect it from the start. So I'll go for add new connection. You can see here Grist 12. Now it is asking me for the token key. So how <coughs> are you going to, uh, uh, how are you going to get this token key? So you can see here, log into your Grist account, navigate to profile settings. And in the account menu, you are going to, uh, you know, get your API key. So what you are going to do is you are going to go to your Grist account. Then here, click on PC. Then click on profile settings. And here you can see the API key. So this is the API key, copy this API key, go back here and paste it. Okay. If you have any confusion regarding anything, you can just read here what is written and you can follow according to that. You will be able to connect any application according to those instructions. Okay. So you can see the team required is personal. That is my domain name. So we do not uh, need to, you know, change this thing. Whatever is here, let it be here. Now workspace, workspace is written home. I am <coughs> going to use this workspace home here. Wait a minute, let me go here. So this is my workspace home. I'm going to use this one. And here I have my documents, Twitter. So I'll just go here and select Twitter. I have so many documents here. I can select any one. I am selecting Twitter. Now it is asking me for the table, Google contact. It is written Google contact here. Okay, so wait a minute. Let me rename this. It is not Google contact. It is Twitter. So <clears throat> you can see now the table name has been changed from Google contacts to Twitter. And here it is still showing Google contacts. So what you can do is you can just go and refresh this. And now you can see Twitter is written here at the table. Now tweet, it is asking me for the tweet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a technique here, which is called mapping. Now mapping will let me map the data here from the above window, this window, and I can map the data in these fields, these both the fields and without, you know, copying and pasting anything or without manually typing anything. So I'll just go for new tweet and here. You can see this is the tweet quote of the day for this. This is my tweet and the time. So this is the time created at Wednesday, February 214, etc, etc, etc. And now I'll just go for save and send a test request. Now you can see record zero ID. It is written here value two. We will go here and you can see this is our tweet. And if you can see here is our URL also and here is the uh, text of the tweet. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here again and I'm going to make a new tweet. So what's happening? Just chilling. And working on Twitter to grist automation. Okay, so this is my tweet. I'm not adding anything, you know, any image or URL or something like that. If you want to do that, you can add it. It will automatically be sent to your uh, Grist account here or database here. Now I'm just going to click on tweet. And you can see here, I have done this just chilling and working on Twitter to Grist automation. Now, as soon as I will click on refresh here, it will take some time, but your data will come here. Now, why will it take some time? Because Twitter is a polling trigger application or we can say that uh, we are using a trigger polling to have uh, or to capture data from Twitter to our Grist account. So it can take some time to send the data from Twitter to Grist account. It can take five seconds. It can take five minutes. It can even take one hour. Okay. So you do not have to worry about that. You do not have to panic. Your data will come to this database. Now let me refresh it and let's see if we are lucky enough to get it in five seconds. No, we are not at all lucky. So let me wait for a few minutes and uh, you know, after five minutes, we will check again if our data is here or not. Okay. And you can see <coughs> here I have the response, but 
it took <coughs> you know about 10 or 12 minutes here to uh, you know to receive the response so as i uh, told you that you do not have to worry about uh, response coming to your guest account you have to you know wait for some time and the response will come so this is how you can connect your twitter account with your guest account so that whenever a new tweet is happening in twitter uh, an automatic database or an automatic record will be created on your guest account so i hope you understood uh, you understood this automation and if you want to clone this beautiful automation you can go to my description box and clone it into your account but for that you need to have an account and for that you need to make an account here so go and sign up now you will be also getting 100 free tasks every month from our side so what are you waiting for go and sign up hasta la vista so thanks a lot for watching our video i hope you understood everything if you want any other event to be added in our module you can just mail at admin at the rate pebbly.com Apart from that, if you have any queries, you can just go on to this forum and ask about your queries. And if you want to check the pricing of the software, you can go on here and check the pricing of the software. I hope you understood everything and you loved every bit of our video. So keep loving, keep subscribing. Thank you.